you know, given this was like a year ago, and surprisingly a certain YouTuber kind of re do named Crystal B R A B R Y Bree Crystal Bree. I don't know how to pronounce the name. The dude, the dude commented on an old comment of mine from like a year ago, I guess, replying to another user. M64 Bros, I guess. Which is kind, of, which is, which is kind of weird. I don't know why the dude's replying to like. I don't know. I don't know why the dude's like replying to old stuff. But then again, he probably saw my comment and thought, "Man, isn't it what guy ain't so bad? He ain't, he ain't wrong." I was like. It was a year ago, but it was like uh, apparently the the, the dude the, the, I check on the dude's comment. He's mentioning how like the person that reported it to Nintendo got fired and shit, and it's like pretty bad news, pretty bad. So it's like, and then dude tried to reply to M64 Bros, but it's like you know, it's a year old comment. I don't think M64 Bros will reply to that because you know. And also, YouTube filtering shit kind of sucks ass because sometimes YouTube would not send a comment if you say specific words like a website for some reason. I don't know why. Like, for some reason, YouTube filtered the words Federal Trade Commissions for some reason, even though I say FTC. So there's probably some words YouTube allows and some words don't for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, and, and Nintendo will be acting sussy lately. Nintendo will be acting sussy. Especially with the, the bad shit with the government. Doug Bowser acting saucy as hell. It's like... It's like, how hard is it for like Nintendo to unionize the people? Like, just make a fucking union and no one get harmed. Instead, Nintendo or Doug Bowser or whoever is just like, Nah, bitch, get fired. I don't care if you get raped. Get fired or some shit. It's like, come on, brah. Come on, brah. Like, come on, man. At least... Like, I wouldn't say I get a lot of views just for that. I'm just like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's going on with Nintendo right now, given, like, certain events with a certain idiot. What's his name again? Uh, what, what's his name? Like, the completionist doing his bullshit by charity fraud shit. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck completionist was thinking about that shit, but, you know, you probably don't even care or don't even matter because, you know, the completionist like, I just want to make good videos again. I want to make good videos with my fans. Maybe you should donate more money to your fans without stealing more from charity, you piece of shit. But, you know, Doug Bowser is also a piece of shit because, you know, his name is Doug Bowser. Of course he's going to get away with shit like this. Like, be people be surprised that Doug Bowser would get away with shit. But it's like, you know, like when I tried to comment on this dude two days ago comment, like, he actually made an update about it because... You know, he was, he was probably updated on the Nintendo shit, the contractor. Like, the contractor got bitched the fuck out by Nintendo America. But, but I guess they paid her, like, $29.910 back, I guess, but... No, no. Nintendo should pay more than that shit. They should, they should, like, you know... They should pay way more than that. They should end up paying, like, millions of dollars worth of bullshit. Like, technically, if you want to end up, like, with money, you need to, like... It's like... You know what I mean? Like, look, I'm not saying every Nintendo fan is a piece of shit. Especially old-ass comments. Some people will change their opinion about Nintendo. They'll be like... You know, you're kind of right about one thing. Nintendo is a piece of shit when it's a Japanese side there. You know what I'm saying? America is also not better either because everybody is like this. The only thing I have to give Nintendo credit for is they make good games. If, if they ever get out of the game business and just make fan games for their own projects, I wouldn't give a fuck. But you know, modern copyright sucks dick. DMCA sucks dick. And a certain Japanese game about a human girl turned to a teddy bear... Gets copyrighted so hard, people thought it was a troll? No, it's from the original creator himself from Japan, living in the UK. Like, he doesn't understand how this shit works. It's like, I want you to copyright everything until I know the game. And that's those fucking fan art! Can you believe this shit? Including fucking fan art, and that's the problem. 
Of course, there's only one dude trying to re-release the game in, in other countries because of popularity due to like Americans finding out the game exists. But even still, it's so stupid. Cause one, you can't do this type of bullshit if you want to announce a re-release the game or a remake of the original. And two, like the shit gets going more complicated with Nintendo shit back in 2020, the 2022s, which is fucking insane. Cause this was a long time ago. But honestly, I'm not even surprised it happened to the leakers. The people that got fucked over by Nintendo. They fucked their asses big time. And it's like, you know what I mean? I'm not saying Nintendo is the most innocent company ever. It could be like people behind the scenes fucking over Nintendo. But really, the higher ups could do jack shit. So I officially apologize for not staying quiet on this shit for years. This is why a lot of people probably have problems with something like a certain Advance Wars remake that came out recently. When Nintendo don't do shit with it. I mean, WayForward were probably proud of that shit, but the majority of people working on WayForward are long gone. WayForward was corrupted as hell, just like Nintendo. And and niggas be like, but 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 WayForward's a good company. They're not like the no, they're not a small company anymore. They're not a small indie company. They're a big ass company. They're just like Nintendo works. And WayForward makes good games, but the type of games they make are not the type of games they usually make, like tactical RPG style games. Fuck out of here with that shit. It's like, you know what I mean? It, it entangling my comment did get sent, but I don't know if it's YouTube or glitching about the FTC stand for Federal Trade Commission or after. I'm gonna reply to Chris would do the same. So it's not like, you know, it's not like Nintendo's like breaking the rules, it's just, it's, it's all that money shit. It's like, once physical media is gone, the majority of people that, you know, the type of Disney chills they used to love buying Disney media, like actual physical media, they're not gonna waste billions of dollars for a subscription fee that's gonna cost them their whole mortgage house. They're like, nah, fuck it, we're gonna pirate. It's just gonna end up back with piracy again. Once you try and get rid of physical media, people go back to piracy. And then there'll be the weep, be like, Finally, we can save the anime industry! By piracy, nigga? No! Piracy kills shit, cause companies are stupid! You pirate shit, it's not gonna give you the next season of Boku no Pico, you dumb fucks! Like, I'm getting ahead of myself, but... Nintendo does need to learn that in the society we live in, we do need to, like, get better in time and not just fuck around shit. Like, seriously, if you think about it, the only reason why Nintendo's not in trouble, technically, because they're not like a Sony where they do actual corruption shit or Microsoft with their own bullshit or EA or Activision or any of that shit. Nintendo just hides it better by fucking up with shit. The only reason why people are nosing Nintendo now is because they're full of shit. Like if Nintendo goes out of business, well, is that be the end of gaming altogether? If Sony stop making console games altogether, it's probably going to be Nintendo, Microsoft, and PC. And if Microsoft stop making PC, Microsoft stop making consoles. It's just gonna be Nintendo and PC. And motherfuckers probably can't even make games for Nintendo unless Nintendo upgrades to the, the biggest hardware, 4K type of tech. Like, sure, we could make fun of gimmicks, but at least the gimmick is what keeps Nintendo alive. And right now, the newest console I hear might not use a gimmick, but it's just gonna improve the technology, make it better. Like, people be like, oh, look, they're doing with gimmicks. Motherfucker, unless they're trying to do a Virtual Boy 2.0, they ain't even gonna do shit. And Doug Bowser in, in Nintendo America has to apologize for shit. Miyamoto has to apologize for that shit. It, me, I want Miyamoto to bend on his knees, apologize to the Americans for fucking him over, and retire before he dies young or old. I don't care. Like, you, you ever feel like this? I'm not trying to insult Nintendo. I'm just saying, speaking the truth. I'm, I'm still trying to buy Nintendo games. Just right now at the moment where I'm living at, I just can't physically play Nintendo games or buy them because, you know, I gotta find a better home where I could just store my games and play them, because you know. 
you know, because like I'm at my a certain family member's house, so I can't actually physically play games at the moment. But you know how it is. I just need to like figure shit out. And and also the newer Pokemon games kind of suck dick, and I mean the mainline games. It's just my nigga, why? Why do you make Pokemon worse than Sword and Shield? How do you make Scarlet and Violet worse than Sword and Shield? Like, goddamn! You may have a better story than Scarlet and Violet, but you fuck up with the gameplay with the glitches! For fuck's sake! How do you do that? Anyways, like I said, I, 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 I don't know what Nintendo's gonna do anymore at this point. I just don't know. All, all I do know is, if Nintendo's gonna fuck up big time, they better not fuck up over the games I wanna buy. Like, I still want a remake of, like, Minish Cap on the Switch, or Switch 2, or whatever they're gonna call it. But motherfucker, Minish Cap is like a perfect game. The only thing I wanted to have, it's more stuff added to it. Because the original game was on Game Boy Advance, and it was like small as fuck, because it was a small game, but it's still a good portable game. Like, I want a remake of that, but in 3D models, so I can take it on the go uh, outside the Switch. Just like with Link's Awakening Remake. They need to make a remake of Link's of Minish Cap, like the Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap, or Zelda's Minish Cap. I want that shit to be real. Like, like that's my only hope Nintendo would do is remake some of the Capcom above games for the Switch or Switch Two. Like, you know, Minish Cap, Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons. Those are like big Capcom shits. And, and I guess technically, if they want to remake more older Zelda 2D games, they can remake like the Four Swords Adventure games. But, but with better models, considering the ones on the 3DS, they have to make the models bigger because, you know, they can make them much smaller, even though you physically could. You could. You have to... With the Switch, you now could do this compared to what you could do it on the, on the 3DS. Like, the Switch was powerful enough to make the models small. You could physically do that. Like, just match the art style, make them small, but still have enough detail. You know what I mean? And, and keep in mind, the art style for, like, the... Four swords and even like fucking Minish Cap, it's just Wind Waker's art style, but without the sailing of the boat. That's what it is. And it's some good shit. Again, would Nintendo ever listen? Well, unless we ask the FTC or the FCC to bust a Nintendo's ass, it's possible. But we, we're such divided people, we can't even do that shit without infighting, without fighting other users. I'm like, why are we fighting each other when we can report to the proper authorities? To go after Nintendo. Like, for fuck's sake. Like, I think either the FTC or, like, FTC went after Gonker. And that was before Gonker got sued so hard by Hulk Hogan. They fucking lost everything. Like, the company had to go on business. They tried to buy another company. But then that company's like, nah, you out of here, Gonker. And, and now the new company just, after they bought Gonker, the articles about Gonker is gone. You can't even find them unless you find them in the archive shit. And even then, it's like, you know what I mean? It's not worth it. Like, it's not fucking worth it. Like, you know what I mean? I, I'm having hope that hopefully someone will defeat Nintendo, bust them in the law of physics, and bring them to justice. Because Nintendo needs to be taught a lesson about this shit. But you know. How, how the hell should I know? I, I'm just a guy with the glasses, so fuck up with the gay shit. And happy new year, motherfuckers.